Oi Vox, uh, today we are reviewing the Spider-Man Legends Lizard Build-A-Figure Wave and we are down to my last review for this wave and it is my favorite figure from the wave which is Mysterio. Um, such an improvement over the old one that we received years and years ago from Toy Biz. I'll give you a look at him in the package here and as you can see this is the green head. I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, the side of the box, the back of the box, side. And we'll go ahead and we will get him out of that box. And here he is out of the box. And right off the bat, I'll say great figure. Great, great figure. Such a huge, huge improvement over the one that we got from Toy Biz years ago with the more accurate globe fishbowl head, I guess. The other one had the light-up feature and the changing head feature. This one, we'll get into that in a sec, but he does have a head under there. Uh, or if that's what you want to call it. Uh, the figure, um, not much of a paint wash over him, which surprised me like there's not a lot of black detail in the grooves of the costume. I, I thought we might see that on this, but uh, it's just kind of a straight up green plastic, green gloves. Um, I know in his original appearance way back in like Amazing Spider-Man, like 30 or something like that, this is exactly how he looked. Like this is a comic accurate Mysterio to the original original Mysterio. Now, later ones, I know that these gloves were green, or green, yellow, gold, and I think the boots had a different color to them as well, and the eyes were generally uh, painted. I might paint those just to make them stand out a little bit more. Um, he does come with these little things that clip onto his boots here. They are... Uh, Help him stand up. It's it's funny. Sometimes you'll get a Marvel Legend that uh, you can't move any of the joints in. You get the ones that they're so loose that they're just flipping, flopping all over the place, which is the case with this right here. And it's so funny because my old Mysterio was really like a flimsy character I found. This one here, they're really, really loose. I'll tighten that up somehow. I'm not really sure. There's also a little bit of a gap in there, but it's no major big deal. Nothing that... Can't be fixed. That's what he looks like there. Now, uh, okay, so you get your cape. The cape's pretty, it's a harder but soft plastic. It's, it's definitely more bendable. The top of the globe fishbowl has a little circle in it. I don't really like that that much, but I guess it has to be made somehow. So we'll go ahead and take that pop straight off. And as you can see, I ended up just by chance, this is what came in the box. There was only one box of Spider-Man Legends there, and this guy has the green head. Now, I know this was the first one that people saw, and then there was a white one. Um, I've talked to people with Hasbro, and there really is no rhyme or reason to what you're going to get in the box. There's, I think the green head was the original one, and the white is the running change. But if you look at the back of that box, that head underneath that picture looks green. So maybe it was originally cast in green and then they decided so nobody there would give me a definitive answer. So I, I, I don't. It doesn't really matter. I think the green actually looks cooler. It's a nice clear plastic. It's a really weird looking head. I, uh, I don't know what's going on with Mysterio here, but like maybe he's a crazy looking creepy thing underneath. Anyway, as far as articulation with figure goes, I mean, obviously you have a cab swivel here that's out of control. And then you have um, ankle, normal one, knees, upper thigh, hips. Your waist is, oh, it's got a, you can hear that, it's got a little click to it, so he stays in place. And then you've got your wrist up and down the... I don't think that moves, and it doesn't seem to want to, so I'm not going to risk it. Uh, upper bicep, an ab crunch, back, forward pretty far. The head looks back, but I mean, it probably doesn't look forward at all. That's it, but I mean, you'll have the dome on it most of the time anyway. It goes on, I don't know, the peg goes in his back, but I find that the, the cape doesn't go down as far if you put the peg in, so that is really bugging me. Not that that's that loose. That's really disappointing. All right. There you have it. Your look at Mysterio with the green head. 
underneath. Uh, happy hunting to find whichever one you want out there. It's, again, there's no, it's just pure chance that you're going to find one or the other. And this figure did come with the leg for Lizard. There we go. And we're going to assemble him now and get them all together. This is without a doubt the most in-demand figure of the entire wave. Everywhere you go, people are charging insane prices for this in the aftermarket, which I don't agree with. The scalpers are crazy. And it's one per box. So good luck finding him and Prowler, <laughs> if that's what people are just looking for. All right, so if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. Subscribe to our channel. And this is Big Puns Toy Box out.